the Malaysian Muslim Students' Coalition, or GAMIS, staged a series of protests in Kuala Lumpur, drawing attention from both local and international media. Their target? The Bruno Mars concert, which was set to be a major event in the city. GAMIS, known for its activism, chose this high-profile event to bring attention to a deeply rooted issue, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which has long been a point of contention. They believe Bruno Mars had shown support for Israel, a stance that many in the group found unacceptable. This alleged support became a lightning rod for controversy, sparking heated debates and discussions. Gamus' actions were not taken lightly, as they were determined to make their voices heard. Their protests, held over three days, culminated in a final demonstration at the concert venue itself, drawing a large crowd. They demanded the concert's cancellation, arguing that it endorsed Bruno Mars's alleged views, which they believed were harmful. The protests were fueled by a sense of urgency, as the group felt the need to act swiftly. Gamis felt compelled to act, to use their voices to amplify the struggle of the Palestinian people, who they felt were being marginalized. Their message was clear. Silence is not an option when faced with injustice, and they were determined to stand up for what they believed was right. Gamis's accusations against Bruno Mars centered around his alleged support for Israel, sparking a heated debate. While specifics remain unclear, any perceived support was deemed unacceptable by many in the community. The context? The ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, a deeply sensitive issue, especially within the Muslim community, where emotions run high. Garmis argued that holding the concert sent the wrong message to the public. It implied a tacit endorsement of Israel, a country they believe is complicit in the suffering of Palestinians, a view shared by many. The concert, in their eyes, became a symbol of a larger geopolitical conflict, intertwining entertainment with politics. This situation highlighted the complexities of navigating the world of entertainment when political ideologies are at play, making it a challenging landscape for artists. It raised questions about the responsibility of artists to use their platforms consciously and the potential consequences of their perceived beliefs, impacting their careers and public perception. The Gamies' protests transcended the realm of entertainment they shone a spotlight on the Palestinian struggle, a conflict often relegated to the sidelines of global discourse. The protests served as a stark reminder of the human cost of this protracted conflict. Gamus's message resonated deeply with those who see the Palestinian cause as a fight for justice and self-determination. The protests became a rallying cry a call for solidarity and a demand for accountability from those they perceive as complicit in the occupation of Palestinian territories. The protests underscored the power of collective action. They demonstrated how a seemingly local issue, a concert in Kuala Lumpur, could become a platform for amplifying a global movement. The Gamies' protests gained significant traction with the involvement of Emis Yamithriar, a prominent pro-Palestine activist. His presence amplified their message, lending his voice and influence to the cause. Mithriar's involvement highlighted the interconnectedness of social justice movements. He drew a direct line between the struggle for Palestinian liberation and other fights against oppression and discrimination worldwide. His presence at the protests served as a reminder that silence is not neutrality. It is a choice, and silence in the face of injustice can be construed as complicity. Section 5. Silence from authorities, echoes of support. 
Despite Gamis efforts, their pleas for government intervention went unanswered. The Malaysian government, while not explicitly endorsing the concert, remained silent on the issue. This silence was deafening for the protesters. The lack of response raised questions about the government's stance on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Was it a calculated act of neutrality or a reflection of deeper political considerations? Gamis, however, saw it as a lack of support for their cause. Despite the lack of official response, the protests resonated with many Malaysians. The Palestinian struggle holds particular significance within the Muslim-majority nation and many expressed solidarity with Gamis's message. Section 6. Entertainment versus Ethics – A Moral Tightrope The protests ignited a debate about the role of entertainment in a politically charged world. Can art truly be apolitical? Or do artists have a moral obligation to leverage their influence for good? Gamis's stance challenged the notion of entertainment as pure escapism. They argued that attending the concert, regardless of one's personal beliefs, was a form of passive endorsement. This situation presented a dilemma for concert goers. Do they prioritize their entertainment or align their actions with their values? This ethical tightrope illustrated the complexities of navigating a world where personal choices can carry political weight. Section 7. The Power of Peaceful Protest Gamis chose a peaceful path to voice their dissent. Their protests, while attracting significant attention, remained orderly and respectful. This approach underscored their commitment to non-violent resistance. The protests served as a reminder of the power of peaceful assembly. They demonstrated that even in the face of powerful entities, ordinary citizens can make their voices heard through collective action. Gamis' approach resonated with those who believe in the transformative potential of non-violent movements. It showed that change can be achieved through dialogue, awareness, and a steadfast commitment to justice. Section 8. Solidarity with Palestine. A global movement. The Gamies protests, though rooted in Malaysia, tapped into a global movement of solidarity with Palestine. The issue transcends geographical boundaries, resonating with people from diverse backgrounds who see it as a fight for human rights and self-determination. The protests highlighted the interconnectedness of struggles for justice worldwide. They served as a reminder that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Gamies' actions contributed to a growing chorus of voices demanding an end to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Their protests, however small, added to the momentum of a global movement seeking a just and lasting peace. Section 9. Music and Politics. A complex harmony. The Gamis protests underscored the complex relationship between music, politics, and social activism, revealing the intricate ways in which these elements intertwine. It highlighted how music, often seen as a unifying force, can become a point of contention when it intersects with deeply held beliefs, values and ideologies. The protests sparked a conversation about the role of artists in society questioning their responsibilities and the impact of their voices. Should they use their platforms to advocate for their beliefs, taking a stand on critical issues? Or should they strive to remain neutral, letting their art speak for itself, without delving into the political arena? The debate is unlikely to have easy answers, 
as it touches on fundamental questions about freedom of expression and artistic integrity. However, the Gamies protests served as a potent reminder that even in the realm of entertainment, silence on matters of social justice can be interpreted as a political statement, carrying its own weight and